Hello everybody, this is Jessie over at Grace and Truth Ministries and today as you can see I am going to share with you my Bible study slash art card. Um, I kind of talk to you a little bit about how I use it, how I set it up, um, what I like about it, and yeah, hopefully it'll inspire you guys to get your own art cart. Um, the reason why I got this in the first place is because my house is pretty small, and I'm going to embarrassingly show you guys it right now. I didn't plan this out. I probably should have cleaned it up, but here you go. I'm in my... I'm in my dining room right now, and there's my living room, and you see my dog? There's my dog, little Mr. Beethoven. Um, and so you can see it's like, it's not really that big of a space. So this is really um, where I do most of my stuff is in um, in my dining room. It serves as my um, dining room slash, you know, office space or whatever. So on that note, um, I needed an, like an awesome storage thing that wasn't going to take up a lot of space. And this three cart system really works well for me for both journaling, um, making art, and then also my battle study. So it, it's definitely combined in its purpose. And I kind of prioritize it based on what I use the most frequently, which happens to be this top section right here and then um, this section right here is what I use secondary and the bottom shelf I pretty much only dig into those that stuff every now and then um, although there is something that I use basically every day in the corner right there so yeah I will just go ahead and get started um, shelf by shelf and kind of dive in with you okay so um, to start on the front of my cart, I did put a couple of key verses that I just really, really love that help me um, to dedicate myself to Bible study each day. Um, it reminds me, you know, of the purpose of doing daily Bible study, and I just like having that inspiration right there. I know it's not perfect, but definitely, like, I think it's great to utilize that space. Some people put, like, labels, like, for what each shelf is purpose to do. This is just what I did because that's what works for me. So then on my top shelf, I have a section where I keep my um, working Bibles. So the ones that I'm using for my Bible journaling and then my, um, my prayer journal and the, like the everyday materials that I use for my study and for my art creation. Um, I do have like my 2023 20, Bible journal is not sitting on my cart. It's actually on a shelf in my dining room. Um, I have kind of like a little library shelf, which I will share that with you guys some other day. It's just really messy right now. Sorry, I'm going to get weird here. Oh my gosh. Why, Jessica, do you do this every time? Okay. This is the Bible that I'm like using and journaling in this year and um for my study time but it's like can you see that it's really big so it sits in a different section um this is my travel journal so this is what i take with me when i go to bible studies it's my bible from the last um two two years of study so it's got two years worth of notes um and i feel like it's sufficient for traveling it's not as big as the other one um, and, you know, it can fit in a backpack pretty decently. Um, I do have this little thing. I saw this in a different video. There's a woman who, she uses, like, the headbands and wraps them around her journal, and it stops it from, like, opening when you travel, especially for those, like, soft, or Bible, I should say, especially for those soft-covered Bibles. So I do keep a couple of those on hand for when I am packing up myself um, to go places and that's been really really handy so this is the these two are the study Bibles I'm using um, for my journaling um, that I do every morning and then this is I know I've shown you guys this before this is what I put on my desk or my table each morning and I set my Bible on um, that I'm 
kind of annotating notes from so that way when I am reading and journaling it's just kind of ready right there um this thing I love it's like a three-tiered just little tray thing and I keep all of my favorite or I should say what washi tapes I'm using currently I keep them right here I do change it out um when I run out of washi tape or um, if I just want a different color scheme or whatever but most of the time I stick with warm tones and so it's usually filled with some like warm, to warm tone type washi tape and then I also keep my glue stick which I use all the time in my journaling um, I know I've showed you guys that uh, I use a I keep a whiteout tape here uh, my pencil sharpener isn't he cute? He reminds me of Beethoven. <laughs> He's so cute. Yes, I'm talking about you. He looks just like you, except different color. Um, and then I have a an ink pad because I will put like date stamps in my um, Bible or in my journal. So there's two date stamps there. One is big, just because I like it, <laughs> and the other one, which is a little more practical and travel friendly. And then I've got these two cups here, and this one is my pens and my um, paintbrushes and the black, the black um, calligraphy style pens that I use. And then this one is the Tombow markers and what brand is that? Stayed letter. Um, sorry. Why am I so ridiculous? Um, that I use for color coding my Bible and then some uh, scissors for journaling and stuff like that. So these ones, these colors specifically are the color codes that I use for my Bible journal. I do have a key that I use um, for color coding. The rest of my Tombow markers instead letter markers and basically all of my markers um sit in this little do you see my floor okay can i just can i just say something oh my goodness i feel like every video i'm like this can i just say something i'm a hot mess no but honestly um my husband and i when we first when he first moved into this house in 2016 or 2017 uh, we replaced the floor. It was brand new. Like, we installed it. But we were so naive. We bought a bamboo floor, and it was, like, so cheap. I mean, it, it the surface wore off, like, immediately. So we have to replace it, but we're just... It's not in the budget at this time. So we roll with it. And this is not a video... This is... Okay. This is not... I'm not a YouTuber that has like a perfect life, you guys, and I, I can't wait to share my testimony with you. Um, God's been telling me, you know, that that's, that's coming down the, the pipes for you, but um, you'll find out my life is kind of all about second chances. So anyways, this is my like stash of all my extra Tombow markers and stud letter markers and highlighters and just all those kind of things that I don't use on the regular but I want to keep them this is actually a like one of those wet diaper bag things that you had as a mom that goes on your stroller um, and I've always used it for art supplies so um, which is really helpful like when you have paint brushes when you travel or um, paint or that kind of thing that's what I use that for so let's see so that's that's up here just to touch base on this one, this is my um, weekly prayer journal. I have not shared it with you guys yet. Drop, put it in the comments below if you'd want me to see it. Sorry, I keep making a shadow in the video. Um, the inside is, it's just, I really like it, but I, I definitely have to kind of edit it or curate it before I share it because I don't want to share all of my prayers <laughs> um, out there in on YouTube so um okay so then ne the next shelf so this one is a little more oh my gosh hold on don't get nauseous while I do this okay this one is a little more um of like art supplies so again the first one is for the journaling concept of every day and then this section is 
my art supplies that I use occasionally. These little clips right here, um, I got them at the Dollar General and I use them for holding pages down in my um, art journals. Not specifically in my faith journal because the Hobonichis are really great. You don't really have to worry about the pages. They just hold themselves so nice. But like journals like this guy, when I work in him, um, those little cl clips come in handy. And this is one of my one of my art journals and I just like sticking it right here because it's one of those quick easy journals that when I'm going to use it um, I have easy access to it. In this bucket it's like um, more paints, paint and marker supplies and then this one is uh, like paper and extra weird stuff and I'll, I'll go through it a little more deeply. These are amazing. I have to tell you if you like um, if you like markers that are like tipped like Tombow and stuff like that, I I got the stead letters first because they were cheaper and then I switched to Tombow's because I wanted a more sharper point. These Faber Castells, oh my gosh, these are like a dream to work with. And look at look at that tone. Like look at that earth tone color set. I love this set so much. That's actually why I keep it here and not up here because it's like my use on a special occasion or if I want something to look extra nice in my writing I'll use these guys and then um, I do have some extra like pens and I've got the distress crayons I tried these I people swear by them um, I just have a hard time getting into them I don't know but I do love a good watercolor set and this is my favorite watercolor set right here. This uh, Schripper Fabian. I can't speak it German, I'm sorry. I totally annihilated that. There it is. Um, I just like this as a like to-go container. It works, sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. It works really nice for my color palette. Um, this color palette is a mixture of different brands of paint. So it's not just the Schripper Fabians because I did wear it wear out some of the colors especially like the ochre color but um I do have some other watercolors so and this one okay you guys I have to tell a story I'm sorry <sighs> to my art teacher in high school you were an amazing art teacher and I was a fallen child listening to the devil and I stole it I stole it I'm not gonna lie, I stole your number 20. I stole your number 20 paint palette. It's terrible, I'm horrible. You know, I need to pray to God for, to forgive that sin without a doubt. But when you're a young artist, it just looked too tempting. I gave into temptation and I stole it, but I'm not 18 or 16 or whatever. No, it was 18 when I, I stole it when I graduated. I'm not that age no more, man. I'm 40. I'm 40. And I kept it. So for what it's worth, I didn't it didn't go to waste, I guess. <laughs> I'm so sorry. As a Christian, I would never do that now. Let's just say that. I would never steal now, even if tempted. Whew, I didn't realize this was gonna be so hard to do. Okay, moving on. Um this bag right here is all the goodies like I love this bag it's got all my awesome little trinkets in it and I'll show you I'll show you that but it's like basically what's in here is like little page additives things that I might want to add to a page so stickers or paper clips or you know little tippins or whatever that's what this page has all the little bookmarks that kind of stuff or that's what this this thing has in it and then these are extra um, pads of paper because I do like to use tippins and I like to be kind of creative with paper that goes sorry guys I gotta learn how to video right paper that goes in here um, excuse me that's just all right in that section some extra um, multicolored this is actually pretty cool can you see that see all those colors right there they're all it's like post-it notes except with those colors I tried so hard to find earth tone post-it notes. If you guys know where they are in the world, please 
<laughs> let me know. I would love to have Earthstone post-it notes. But I don't. So that's that was my like um compromiser. And then the bottom shelf is where I keep the rest of my supplies that I don't use very often. So this is my collection of washi tape in its entirety. Um, there's some things in there. Oh my gosh, of course, Jessica. Why? Just why? Um, there's some things in there that I use a lot. Um, like I love, for instance, different black and white textures. And so those I'll use kind of frequently, but there's a whole section of cool colors right here that um, I need to use up yet. You can see there's like no warm tones. Probably the one I use the least is the pinks. I used those um, over Valentine's, but really they just kind of sit in there. And they'll probably stay there until next Valentine's. Um, okay, and then here's some more gelatos. Oh, Faber-Castell. I love Faber-Castell. And gelatos are great. I just haven't worked with them lately, so... Um, and then this container has my stamp collection, which isn't that big, and I don't really like using very much, so that's why it's there. And then this is a blow dryer that I will use to dry like watercolor or acrylic paint or something like that that's in my journal. I do um, know that people use heat guns, and that's great. I think it's awesome. I just don't have one. So... Back to my piece de resistance, I guess you could say. The last little tidbit on my art cart. Okay, this is gonna be weird because I'm gonna do this one-handed, but bear with me. All right, so you see in this guy, he's got all the goodies. He's got paper clips, he, it's got tippins. Um, these are from Project Life, whatever those things are called. Ooh, I got this from, um, why can't I think of the name of it? Illustrated Faith. Um, what else do I got in here? Oh, yeah, bingo cards to put in. I got stickers. If you've, if you've looked at my journal, at my weekly pages, I always have, like, a sticker there. Um, oh, these are from Illustrated Faith, too. So, yeah, it's, it's just where I keep my, like, my little special stuff. Um, book tabs, all sorts of good goodies. Uh, pockets to put on pages. And yeah, what is that? Oh, little library cards to put on pages. So just all sorts of cool stuff. Um, I really enjoy those little extra things. I can't say that I use them consistently, um, but I do. I do like to add them when I feel it's appropriate. So that just sits down there. So there you go, you guys. That's my art cart. Sorry for my, like, poor um, camera handling. <laughs> oh, one thing to say, too, is, like I said um, in previous journals, I do change my uh, study Bible every year. And so these are the two that I'm using this year. Uh, in the past, I've used different ones. I've used a John MacArthur, and I've used a Life Application Study Bible. Um, but I try to use a different one every year and then add the notes um, from that time to the to the Bible with the idea that over time, I'm going to have a really nice, robust collection of notes to kind of refer to when I'm reviewing the verses and things like that. Let me know in your comments what you think of my... Bible study slash art journal slash art cart <laughs> and let me know if you guys use one um, if you think you would use one I feel like it's such a great addition to my study time I love that like I'll sit here and I can just pull this guy like right up next to me and here's my Bible and I can just do you know go back and forth like that it sits in the corner over here, sorry, Ugh. by my guitar, so it's kind of like, it has its little home, and yeah, I just think it adds, like, so much joy um, to my study time, so thank you for stopping and checking it out, I hope this, uh, I hope this video was helpful, I hope I didn't record it too bad, um, 
I appreciate you guys. I love that you stop by. I love that you support Grace and Truth. Um, if you like it, please put in the comments below. Please like it. Please subscribe. Um, I so appreciate doing this stuff for you all, and I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye-bye.